Hello, Erin. Are you still working for that shitty company? Well, hi, Roxanne. Nice to talk to you, too. What a lovely way to greet someone. No, how are you doing? How are the kids? Just straight to the point. Must appreciate the honesty. Well, I figured at my age, what's the point of sugarcoating things? It's not like you're taking any of my words seriously anyways. Wait, what? You always completely ignore me when there is something I ask you to do. It's like you're always undermining me or something. I'm like your mother. You should be more respectful towards me. Just like Mason is. Well, don't mind me asking, but why are you even texting me? I mean, what's the problem this time? I know you hate me, and that you think I'm not a good wife and an even worse mom. And the fact that I have a full-time job is, of course, terrible. But who cares? In the end, you do not have anything to do with me. Oh my. Aaron, honey, I don't hate you. I just hate the fact that you go to work every day while Mason is only working four days. I mean, you've got two kids. What about them? What do you mean? What about them? Well, why don't you let Mason work full time so that the kids will have their mommy at home more often? And that way a lot more money will come in. Won't it? Oh, so you're concerned about the kids? Really, Roxanne? I don't buy that BS, and please don't call me honey. Why shouldn't I be concerned about those kids? They are my grandkids. I love them more than anything, and that's why I'm so worried. Kids need their mother around all the time, Erin, especially when they're young. But you're always working. Do you ever wonder how that's going to affect them? They must be really struggling. Look, I really don't see where you're taking this. The kids are doing fine. They go to school and some afternoons the nanny is here to take care of them. And the other days we are there to love and support them. If you really are so concerned about our kids, why have you never offered us to jump in for a day? You've never called us to offer anything like that. And now you're telling me that you're worried about the kids? You need to get a life, Roxanne. Watch your mouth, Erin. You're going overboard and I don't appreciate the tone you're using with me. If you have something you want to tell me, say it nicely and be straightforward. Alright. Sure, why not? I want you to stop bothering me about this. It's my life, my kids, and my job. We are happy and content with it. I hope you can be too, but honestly, I don't really care. Mason is so kind as to transfer you some money on a monthly basis, even though you don't need it at all. And I'm starting to think that you only want Mason to work more so that the monthly amount will increase. Whoa, what? Yes, you're really starting to get on my nerves because, because, you know, if it was up to me, we would transfer you even less. All you use it for is lunch and dinners at the golf club. This has nothing to do with my kids. You're one toxic woman, Erin. I'm just here trying to advise you on how to be a better mom and a better wife. You don't have to be so rude to me just because I'm trying to help you. I just wonder why you're giving me this advice. Did I ever ask you for it? Did I ever tell you that I need help, Roxanne? Please tell me how to be a better mother and a better wife. Did I? No. So why are you so eager to help me out? Why can't you put your helpful nature into doing something good? Like helping us with the kids sometimes? I'm too old, Erin. I'm not even sure I can take care of my kids on my own. I mean, there's no doubt that I love those kids. But they can be tough to handle at times. If I could, you know, I would have helped out way more. Exactly. So even if you know you can't offer us any actual help, then why bother us with so much criticism? Listen, I know how to raise my kids, and I know how to do my job. I have no problem with doing both. You don't know much about what is actually going on here, so i just like to say that I appreciate your concern, but just let it be. You don't need to keep telling me to quit my job and become a housewife. I love what I do, 
and I'm not changing anything. At least not anytime soon. I just don't get why. Mason already has a high paying job. He could make even more if you'd let him work full time. Why do you need to keep doing this, Aaron? Why expose yourself to so much stress and feel exhausted all the time? Well, you can actually just stay at home and take care of the kids. You have no clue what you're talking about. I mean, it's not like you're making anywhere close to what Mason does. So what's the point? Why can't you just be a normal housewife? Do you feel ashamed of that idea? Ugh, it's not about shame. I've got nothing to be ashamed of. However, it's my choice, Roxanne, and please. God, I'm really tired of telling you the same thing over and over again. You really need to stay out of this and mind your own business. Because I'll be very honest. Right now, I'm honestly losing my temper. I mean, I hope you understand that no one likes being bothered this much. Whoa, calm down. I really thought you'd understand someday that there's nothing more important than family. But I guess it's all in vain. They don't care a single bit about the family. About your kids. And even about Mason? What does this have to do with Mason and the kids? I'm really confused right now. Are you being serious? Just because I have a job and you're telling me that I don't care about the family? This is the old-fashioned way of thinking. Do not call me old-fashioned or conservative. Listen, Roxanne. You are my mother-in-law, and I've always been very respectful to you. But I need you to stop texting me right now. Otherwise, I'm not sure if the next thing I'd say would actually be respectful at all. And trust me, you don't want to try me. Fine. Whatever. I'm going to have a chat with Mason about this. Please do so and stop texting me. Mason, you need to temper your wife a bit. This woman is getting out of control. She's just so disrespectful. How could she let this happen soon? I am your mom. Oh, come on, mom. Not again. Let me guess. You told her again to leave her job? Didn't I tell you to stop minding her business so much? She's working her butt off at the office and at home too. She's doing amazing. You don't need to pressurize her even more. What? Well, at least I always come home with you and your sister from the day you guys were born. Until you were both 18. Didn't you appreciate that? Don't you want that for your own kids? It's like she really went to your head or something. I swear, my love, there is something wrong with her. I feel like she's taken my son away from me. That evil woman. Mom, what the hell? Don't call my wife like that. What is wrong with you? Relax a bit. You have no idea what she goes through every day. Just so that we can have a better life. And so that the kids were able to go to the best schools. And you're bad-mouthing my wife? Just stop. What's going on? Why don't you guys understand? I'm saying this for your sake only. The kids need at least one parent at the house. You're already working so hard in providing for the family. Why does she need to work at all? Okay, fine mom. The kids need at least one parent, right? Then I guess I'll leave my job and stay with the kids. Will that make you happy, mom? So you're willing to leave that job? But you don't have the courage to ask your wife to do that? What's going on, son? Are you out of your mind? You're not scared of her or something, right? Oh, God. Mom, why are you like this? It's my life. Why do you always want to control everything? I'm an adult with my own family right now. Focus on yourself and get some hobbies or something. Why can't you just enjoy your own life? Me and Erin have already enough to think about. You don't need to involve more problems into our lives. Can't you just leave us alone? Great. So now my son has turned on his own mother? If that's what you want to believe, sure. 
I really don't like the fact that you keep pressuring my wife into leaving her job. What does that have anything to do with you? How does it concern you? I mean, we've got it under control. It's not like we ask for your help or anything. And most importantly, the kids are doing fine. Then why can't you just let us be? Okay. Just tell me why she can't leave her job. Or at least work less. Isn't it amazing if you would be able to work full time, just like every father of a family wants to? To provide as much for his family as he could? And perhaps you could help your poor old mom a bit more as well. Well, let me tell you, she can't just leave her job because it's her who's been carrying all of her household expenses. Did you know that? She makes just as much as I do. All I make goes straight into savings and a little part goes to you. But it's her who is paying all the bills and who makes sure everything is well taken care of. Life will be so different if she would quit her job. Stop! This doesn't make any sense. How can she earn more than you, Mason? This is a joke, right? You're saying that just so I won't bother you anymore, isn't it? No, Mom. That's not true. Why would I? My job is fine. But because of her, we are able to pay off our enormous mortgage and go on holidays. Basically, the whole house depends on her salary. And instead of being thankful to her, you just make her feel worthless all the time, telling her that she isn't being a good mother and whatnot. That is complete BS. I don't believe it. And you know what? Even after all this, she did not once think about telling you about all of this. She just kept it all a secret so that you wouldn't think any less of me. She's your daughter-in-law, mom. She's my wife. It wouldn't hurt you to be sweet with her. I still can't wrap my head around this. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? I mean, I'm not sure I could actually believe you. It just doesn't seem right. Why not? Mom? Because she's not a man, so she can't make more money than I do? You've never even shown any interest in what she does for work. Well, guess what? She's got a better job, and she's really good at it. No wonder she's making more than I do. To be really honest, I'm not even happy with what I'm doing right now. And Erin is still supporting me. You know, she tells me that I can quit my job anytime I want and focus on what I really want to do. What are you talking about? I thought you were doing so well at work and had all these bonuses. I want to be a writer. Did you know that? A writer, for God's sake? Of course you didn't. Because you never cared enough to ask me that. Okay, so now it's all my fault? How would I know about that? You never told me. Yeah, think about that. Just take some time and think about why I never told you, Mom. Do you think you would have approved when I was younger? No, you would never. And that's exactly why I didn't tell you. That is so not true. You always expected way too much from me. And because of that, I've been living life like a robot. But you know what? I'm gonna make some changes now. I realize that I need to live my own life, and I can't let you control it anymore. Even indirectly. So thank you for today, Mom. I've had a realization. I'm gonna follow through. What are you talking about, Mason? What realization? Can someone please tell me what's really going on? This is too confusing. Not now, Mom. But I'll tell you soon. Right now, I need to go and talk to my wife. We need to discuss something really important, and I'm kind of excited about it. This day might even be better than I could ever imagine. Hey, that's not fair. You won't tell your mother, but you do tell your wife? Yeah, please give me a break. I mean... Me and Erin, we really don't want to talk to you right now. At least not for a few days. You really fill our lives with toxicity. And I get a sense that all you want is to make more money so you can ask for more. Instead of really wanting us to become better parents for the kids. You know, this is nonsense, Mason. Do whatever you want. Hey, babe. Hey, honey. How's it going? I wanted to talk to you. Okay, so before you say anything, let me just tell you I am sorry. Your mom texted me and I kind of said some things that could have been mean. 
So, if that's what you want to talk about, I take responsibility for what I did. Oh, babe, relax. She deserved that. So don't worry about that. What I wanted to say was, I'm thinking about quitting my job. At least if you're okay with it as well. What? Really? I will do some part-time work somewhere else and finally focus on my lifelong dream of becoming a writer. Oh my god! Wow, babe, I've always told you you should. But what about your mom? She will never be okay with that. I really don't care. Also, I told her everything. Huh? What do you mean you told her everything? Look, she texted me saying that you were disrespecting her and that you were ignoring all the advice she gave you. Blah, blah, blah. So I told her to leave you alone. I mean, I knew that she must have troubled you again with her. Talk about quitting the job and everything else. I was really frustrated. And then I thought, what's the issue with telling her the truth? I mean, she doesn't care about me or you. Unfortunately, she doesn't. All she cares about is her ego, the pride of the family and her bonus she gets from us every month. Too bad I have no interest in stroking her ego. So I told her that you were the one who makes way more than me and that you are the big CEO of our household. <laughs> oh God, she is not going to take that well. Mason, we've talked about this. I've never met someone more conservative than her. She's going to torture you about it. And I don't care. Let her try. I've got you, and I've got my two amazing angels. I really don't care less about what she has to say. Are you sure, honey? I mean, she is still your mother. Yeah, and it's her who needs to realize that, not me and you. So, what now? I mean, what's the plan? You're quitting your job and everything. How are we going to manage everything? Don't worry, baby. I'll quit my corporate job and look for something part-time, which is close by, or which I can do online. Also, I've got my savings and all, and since I'll be staying at home, I can take care better of the kids, right? And meanwhile, I'll be pursuing my writing career. What do you think? I love the plan, babe. You know, I'm going to be there for you no matter what, right? You know what? I've been thinking about all this, and I just want you to know that I've got your back if you decide to work less. Seriously, all those fancy things we have don't mean squat to me. And yeah, I have a feeling my mom might have sparked all this craziness because she wants to support Roxanne even more. But it got me thinking, babe. Our family life is what truly matters, and we can still have a freaking awesome and happy life even if we bring in less dough. Babe, I can't believe you're saying this. It's like you read my mind. The kids are still little munchkins, and they need us around more. I should definitely be home more often, too. And listen to this. They dangled a juicy promotion in front of my face starting in two months. If I take it, I can work one last day and still make almost the same moolah every month. How rad would that be? Whoa, hold up. That sounds like a dream come true. We could totally slash our expenses and maybe, just maybe, finally convince Roxanne to let go of my motorbike. I mean, let's be real here. When was the last time I even revved that thing up? <laughs> You're cracking me up, babe. That motorbike has been collecting dust in the garage for ages. It's time to cash in on it and put the money to good use. But hey, while we're on the topic of money, what about the cash we dish out to your mom every month? Oh man, you're hitting me with the tough questions. She'd probably go ballistic if we even suggested cutting her off. You know how she gets when it comes to dough. But at the same time, we've got to think about our own financial well-being and the future of our family. No doubt, babe. We gotta find that sweet spot between taking care of your mom and taking care of ourselves. Maybe we can sit down with her and have an honest convo about our financial situation. We can explore other options, 
set some boundaries, and make sure we're making smart moves for our family's future. You're spot on, babe. We gotta have that heart-to-heart -heart and figure out a solution that works for all parties involved. It won't be a walk in the park, but I have faith in us. Our family's happiness and stability are what truly really matters, and I know we can navigate this challenge together. Let's do it, team! Absolutely, babe. We're a dynamic duo, and we've tackled crazier things before. With our killer communication skills, understanding, and a dash of compromise, we'll create a brighter future for ourselves and our kiddos. Erin, is everything alright? I've been trying to call Mason for a few days now, but he's not picking up my calls. I just want to know if you guys are fine. Hey, Roxanne. Yes? Everything is fine. I think Mason needed some time to figure some things out. Maybe that's why you can reach him that well? But apart from that, everything else is going pretty good. Okay, so this might surprise you a bit, but I want to apologize for the other day. I've always put you through so much self-doubt and whatnot. You just keep working as much as you want to. It's none of my business. Just find it in your heart to forgive this stupid old lady. Hey, don't say that. You've actually inspired us to change things up in life. What do you mean? Well, Mason will quit his corporate job to pursue a life as a successful writer. And I will take one day off each week to enjoy more time with the family. Whoa. Alright. And how are you going to do that financially? Does it even matter to you? Roxanne, we really appreciate that you care so much about our kids and the time we spend with them. And of course, financially we will all have to make some sacrifices as well. Oh, really? And what do you mean by that? Skip one of the three holiday trips you make each year? Hmm, yeah, for example. And Mason is willing to sell his motorbike. But also, we will decrease your monthly payments by half. Mason already told you about that? Excuse me, Erin? I really can't miss that. You know I don't have anything. Oh, come on now. Let's be real here. You have the most stunning house, a beautiful sports car, and it feels like you're getting a new wardrobe every month. So, let's put things into perspective. Receiving $600 per month instead of $1,200 won't exactly be life-changing for you now, will it? You can't just cut me off like this, Erin. It's not fair. I need to talk with Mason about it. Seriously, Roxanne? Mason is sitting right next to me. You could have easily approached him and discussed this. Besides, why don't you consider inviting your friends over to your amazing house for a cozy home-cooked dinner every now and then? It's a much more affordable alternative to constantly going out for those fancy dinners and lunches. We all agree that spending quality time with our children is priceless. And sometimes we have to make sacrifices to prioritize that. I can't believe you didn't bother discussing this with me beforehand. It's a major decision that affects me directly. What do you mean, Roxanne? We actually did discuss it, remember? You made your stance pretty clear. But hey, thanks for opening our eyes and reminding us of the importance of family. We all need to make sacrifices for our loved ones. And I appreciate you reminding us of that. After that, I decided to block Mrs. Roxanne on every platform imaginable. But you know what? She just couldn't help herself. She continued her despicable little scheme, changing up the numbers and bombarding me with endless texts and calls. It was like she had an obsession or something. Poor Mrs. Roxanne. Without a fat wallet to rely on for her daily needs, she found herself in quite a pickle. She had to go out and actually find a job to cover all those monthly expenses of hers. Can you believe it? I heard through the grapevine that she's working as a cleaner at some no-name company. And let me tell you, the wage ain't exactly breaking the bank. As for me and my hubby, we're living the dream, my friend. We've got a blissful life together, filled with laughter and love for my beautiful children. We make it a point to spend oodles of quality time together, playing and cherishing every single moment. And let me tell you, that's all I've ever really wanted in life, 
happiness, and family. That's the real deal right there.